What's up guys, Pirani here. So in this video I want to show you how we're going to change the scenes because in the previous tutorials I was showing how we, we create objects, we interact with the objects, get a ball and everything. Let's say you create your game. So now you want to change the scene. You want to create your main menu with the start game, exit button and then you want to change the scene to, to your game. So in this tutorial, in this video, I will show you step by step how we're going to create this awesome functionality. So we have the start game and exit game. Okay. So let's start. Okay guys, so here I'm going to continue from the previous tutorial. If you want to create a new project, it's okay. So first I need a new scene because we're going to change the scenes now. So right click and scene. That's how we're going to create a new scene and let's call it menu. Perfect. So here we have a new scene. Let's open and let's start creating our player. We're going to have to create everything from scratch here. If you want to import, no problem. So first let's reset the camera to zero and I will also create a new game object empty and also reset the position to zero and call it player after doing that uh, just move the camera inside the player and we also need to add the components to make it work so first we're not going to need actually a capsule collider but we're going to need the other functionality so we need the physics ray caster so just type there if you don't find it. so physics ray caster for the camera Add this component don't forget and also we need a reticle pointer inside the main camera so after we add this this is gonna allow us to interact with objects we see with the buttons and everything after creating our player we're gonna have to add the components to work with VR so we need the emulator the controls for the VR the VR controls and we also need the GDR event system to allow us to interact with the objects to click the buttons and everything perfect after adding all those we are ready to start we need to create our canvas now so right click UI and we add the text first we're gonna create like the, the heading so change this to word space um, that's the way we're gonna be able to to see the, the canvas and reset the position to zero and the z-axis uh, I have a value here uh, would like to work is 400 and I also reset the text to zero so everything to zero and if you see in the camera there we can now see the text this is really good because now we will be able to create our title also let's change the text first I want to change the main menu and let's change the text to 50 yeah this is great and just change the size here and let's give it a color uh, let's see a color that works the blue is not really good with this background i think uh, orange would be okay for us just to be able to see and here we have to anchor on the top so if you see here i click on the top and everything is anchor and if i hold control uh, shift and control and i have the other uh, options here and move automatic to the top if i click there so now um let's create our button so right click and ui and button so here's going to be uh, the button we're going to do to change the scene so first let's change the text to um let's call it star game yeah and i'll change the side to 20 that's going to be good yeah and now let's change the colors when we interact with the, with the button so i want like kind of like a red when we highlight and kind of like a dark red when we press the button okay perfect and so now let's save it and let's see how it works now is everything is working yeah you can see when I press it's dark red when I highlight it's just red like this light red so great so now I'm gonna duplicate it and move it a little bit down and because I want to create a quit button as well so let's change the text as well let's call it exit perfect and save it and for now we need to add the script because uh, we have the both buttons but we don't have a script so the right click and C sharp script let's call it um, scene controller and double click to open so in here now in the script we need to add the, um, using unity engine dot scene management because then we are allowed to control the scenes now um, no, we don't need the start and update method 
we need to create two methods one to quit and one to change the scene so they both need to be public as well so public void let's call it change scene and for the second method for to quit let's call it public void um, let's call it quit application quit quit app yeah quit app would be okay so for the change scene I need to create a string scene name because then we're gonna um, pass the name and we're gonna call scene management dot load scene and we're gonna use the scene name our variable or string variable we created so we call it scene name and we call it before and for the quit app is simple we just need to application dot quit a little bit error there and just yeah don't forget the brackets and back to unity what we're gonna do we're gonna need to um, drag the, the script to the buttons we need to use the functionality so let's drag to both of them and for the star method we just unclick there click in this plus sign and we need to drag the button there to allow us to call the function we just created the method so no function the access the scene control and change scene and you see we have the string as well so we call the name the name of the scene we want now it's uh, zero one yeah so we just write zero one there and it should work let's save it and test it don't forget that and we have here the start game and let's see if it works it actually doesn't <laughs> um, actually we had a problem here uh, it was um, I forgot to add the, in the build settings the, the scene we're working now so just get, uh, get out of the play mode build settings and let's add the scene there so the menu, the menu is the first one. So you put in the top here and close it, and that should be it. So if you test now, it should work perfect. Let's test, and if I click to start game, yeah, there we have. We changed the scene. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any problems with the tutorial, please let me know. Leave in the comments below. If you have any suggestions as well, I'll be more happy to help you. And uh, if you want to check another tutorials, you can see in the description below, I have another tutorials, check the channel, and I hope you create something new, and if you want to show me, I would be more than happy to see uh, your results, guys. So, stay awesome, and see you next week.